Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you for being part of this family. May the good Lord Almighty bless you and provide for you your heart desire in Jesus' name. So today, I just have a short Bible verse to talk about. Yes, I have a Bible verse to talk about today, tonight. First of all, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the country you are watching me from. My name is Evangelist Sophia. So today we are going to be talking about discourage. Discouragement, that is what we are going to be talking about today. You know, many of us are so discouraged. We just feel that all hope is lost. No, all hope is not lost. Yes. The Bible makes us to understand that all hope is not lost. Whatever you are passing through right now, there is a reason for it. You don't need to kill yourself. You don't need to worry about it. God, there is a purpose for it. You need to stay strong. Don't be depressed. Don't call the third person to intervene or to interfere in that actual situation. Because... There is a reason for it. The Bible makes us to understand what is the meaning of discouraging. When you are discouraged, when you are discouraged, you feel that there is no hope again. God wants me to tell you today that there is hope. God wants me to tell you that there is hope. Praise the Lord. Don't be discouraged. Don't allow someone to discourage you. No matter the hardship, no matter what you, what you think concerning your present situation, don't be discouraged. Continue pushing. Continue having faith in God. Have confidence in Him. Call upon Him. He's a father to the fatherless. He's a father to everybody. One thing many of us don't really understand. You cannot be crying without inviting God into your life, into your family, into your home. Open the door for God to come in. That is your heart. Open it for God to come in. Always learn how to pray. Always learn how to meditate to God. Yes. Praise the living God. Today, we are going to be talking about this courage. Many people feel that all hope is lost. No, I am here to tell you that all hope is not lost. Praise the living God. So, first of all, let me read Matthew 5 because today, um, everything about me is going to, I'm just going to be reading Bible, 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 what God says concerning discouragement. So, listen. Amen. Bless in Jesus' name. So, he said, Matthew 5, verse 4. He said, Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforts. Blessed are those who mourn, there will be comforts. Why? There will be comfort. Because God knows that children of God cannot be discouraging. Without God intervention, God sees all of us. God know all of us. When you read, when you read First John, a First King, First King one verse something I don't really know, is a story of Elijah. When Elijah, we are playing, we are playing. God was looking at Elijah. He was looking at him. He focused, he focused on Elijah because there's something about Elijah. Elijah, she wants to collect. There is a gift that Elijah has that he can give to the world. He was looking at, at Elijah when you read First King. First King 1. I don't know. It's First King. I know it's First King. It's a story of Elijah. Elijah never knew God. Want to use him? Praise the living God. 
Auntie Elijah was sick. Elijah was having epilepsy. Then God intervened. Praise the living God. We are not even the story of Elijah. I will call the story of Elijah. Praise the living God. So, when you are more, God is there to comfort you. God is there to help you. God is there to heal that pain. That thing that is hitting you. That thing that is making you to cry. That thing you feel that there is no solution to it. God is coming to help you. He sees everything. He said, I see everything. I know everything. I know you more than you know yourself. Jesus says so. Praise the living God. So Exodus, Exodus 33 verse 19 says, I will cause all my goodness to pass in front of you. I will cause all my goodness to pass in front of you. And I will proclaim my name. I'm still reading Exodus 33 verse 19. I will proclaim my name, the Lord, in your presence. I will have mercy. God will have mercy on you. Praise the Lord. I will have mercy on who I, I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on who I will have mercy is upon you. So don't be afraid. Continue loving God. Continue believing in God. Praise the Lord. So, Romans, Romans 5 verse 20, Romans 5 verse 2. He said, rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Continue to be happy. When you know God, you continue to be rejoicing. You continue to be thanking God. You continue to be loving God. You continue, you know, you will always be smiling. People will be asking, what is the problem? Why are you always smiling? Why are you always happy? Because God's grace is upon you. Because God has uh, compassion on you. Because God asks you to rejoice. Praise the living God Almighty. So, Psalm 109, Psalm 109, verse 17 says, May you, on fair love, be comfort according to your promise to your servant. That love, that compassion, that thing you see, you see, you think that people don't don't really give you. God will give you abundantly. That love you seek for, God will bless you with it. That money, that finance, that food of the moon, that children, that peaceful marriage, God says He will bless you with it. You will have comfort for them according to his promise on his servant. He has promised us everything. Everything. He promised us everything. It's just for you to believe. It's just for you to trust him. It's just for you to love him. It's just for you to have patience. It's just for you to read the word of God. It's just for you to pray. The word of God says pray without no season. Praise the living God. What Psalm? I'm stopping here. What Psalm 42, verse 11 says, He said, Why are you downcast, O my soul? Put your hope in God, for I will, yeah, praise Him. Why do you feel you are outcast? Why do you feel that God don't really see your pains? Why do you feel that all hope is lost? Why do you feel that your situation will remain there forever? You will not remain there forever. It's a matter of time. As long as you can break that strong man, that strong woman, that affliction concerning your life is a matter of time. He says, let me read the last verse again. Psalm 42 verse 11. 
Why are you downcast? Why are you? Why are you so troubled? Why are you so complaining about our problems? Why are you? God is asking you a question. Why are you complaining? Put your hope in God. For I will praise you. Praise the living God. Put your hope in God. And I will praise you. Thank you for listening to my today's sermon. I'm so grateful. I'm so happy. Working for God. Give me hope. Give me strength. Pull out all those strong gold in my life. Making me a perfect person. Making me a, a instrument to the devil. So I'm grateful. I'm thanking God for using me. I'm thanking God for putting a mountain of, of God in my tongue. I'm so grateful. May God Almighty be praised in Jesus' name. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please, guys, please, 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 follow this, my Facebook, uh, my YouTube. A lot is going to be put in this YouTube. Like, subscribe, comment, share. As you do that, the God of Evangelist Sophia, that is making evangelists to be smiley, that is making evangelists to be rejoice, is going to visit you in Jesus' name. Don't forget, I have a page, 